Hi guys and girls, today, hi guys and girls, we are, well I am, not you or anyone else that's going to help me here, but me, I'm going to uh, do another quick video for my five favourite watch apps on a watch. My first app is the running app. So this one here. So this I use nearly every day because I work out a lot now. Building myself up. I've lost a lot of weight. Um, as you can see the green light's going mental. In there. But anyway, so you've got crawl training which I do about 40 minutes of. Every time I go and pick up like the boys from school, if we're not in lockdown, 3.10, whatever it's called now. Um, I put the walk on. I also do functional strength training. Um, I don't do Australian football, don't know why that's there because we're in the UK. Outdoor run, I use that quite often. Pilates, or I thought it said when I first saw it, Pirates. Climbing, probably climb up the wall sometimes with my family. Oh, look, there we go. Natural rings. So I move there, cow, blah, 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 cheeky one. Anyway, so that's what I do. I've got indoor cycle as well, which I use sometimes if I go for a run or a workout. And that's quite a good app. Um, my second, so my second app is linked to that, which is another stock Apple app, um, and this is activity. So this gives you the information, um, which this is updated today. Um, so I've only got 31% of my move goal calorie exercise, only four minutes apparently, and stand time, which is nine hours. I've done 112% of that. And then you've got your charts here, which is pretty good. So steps that I've done. Um, that is a little bit of a fib because I actually walked without my watch on because I had to charge it. I forgot to charge it earlier on, so that'd be a bit more than that. And you've got your weekly summary. So you've got your Tuesday and your Thursday there, which seems to be the best ones. Steps and all that. So I've had quite a busy week. Or whatever. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then you've got your other bits if you wanted to share with someone and try and beat them. And then I've got all my awards here. So I probably won't get that. Um, the challenge if I was doing jogging um, without a doubt I would get beyond 19,000 calories easy um, but where I work out it's, I don't think it's as accurate compared to when you're running it sort of perhaps measures it better um, obviously if you're linked up to a machine like a treadmill or something then it'd be different but those are my challenges that I've got in the past closure rings which always tickles me I think it's quite rude and you've got your workouts, your different workouts that I've done as well, um, which is good. So that's that, that's the ring collection. Oh, there it is, I did press the wrong one. So you can start and you can select what your, your main one is gonna be that you normally use. You've got a seven minute speed run. So, so what that does basically is you pick one of these, um, like treadmill one there or this new run, 25 minute run. And basically the coaching said they're playing music, but they're also talking in it as well to help you, to guide you, to push you to further what you want to do really, um, which is really good, really cool. Um, so it's a, like a personal trainer, but not costing you the money, which is good. Um, where with um, Apple Fitness Plus, um, it's really good. I had it for just under a month because you know I didn't really want to pay the fee a month at the moment I might get on with it because I did try it a few times um, and actually enjoyed it and some of the features that they are bringing out is really quite good and now with this update on the watch you can now actually have it so you get celebrities and stuff talking and and trying to get you going as well so it is a real I suppose because they're at home they can do that anyway uh, get started collection so first run uh, next run so you've got different ones there, tough day, easy runs for 30 minutes, 
come back run. So you've got all these ones here, mindful run pack. So it plays sort of different types of music as well, um, which is really cool. So you can download that. And uh, so you've got the Coach Bennett. And it's just an overview there. Um, which is not bad. So it's just a nice little workout and things like that, which is good. You've got your long runs and all that stuff. Lovely. Treadmill, short runs, long runs, speed runs, distance based runs. I can smash off these. 14 weeks to go. What's that all about then? Uh, yeah, so you've got quite a lot there. Bloody, bloody, blah, loads. And then, where are we now? So then you've got to work out either if you're doing an indoor. Uh, auto pause if you stop voice over so you'll get like a, a lady or a man talk and say um, pause in run because they know that you're stopping you're having a breather you're having some water or you want to fart you don't want to spread the fart about i don't know um frequency uh why is that kilometer i want miles so that's not good is it oh well Cheers, so you go like, yay, you've done a mile, yay, you've done two. You've got a countdown, so a countdown at the beginning, three, two, one, and off you go. Toilet mode, so if you're jogging at night time, or the lighting is pretty shit where you're running, um, you know, you're running from the cops at night or whatever, you can put it in twilight mode, and it comes up really bright, so the guys on the electric scooters don't knock you over, perhaps. And you've got more celebrations there. There you go, miles, that'll do. And then you've got your schedule run. So you can put in a schedule, when are we running? For some reason that's only for today. So you can put, right, I'm gonna go for a run at 4.30 for an hour. Then that's a good one to use, is this. But I'm, my sort of run's all over the place. But like I say, I'm not running at the moment because it's homeschooling. And I've got, look, rubber bands now to do my exercises so that is my other app that I use these are the ones that I did in December did I run in December oh, I must have done <laughs> I can't remember well I had Covid after the 14th on it so it's right 18th or 19th I think I caught Covid so that wasn't a very good day but I've got five miles I've got seven on Wednesday so yeah, so I really caned it. So my third app is another stock app from Apple, and that is the bed, the sleep app. So it has improved since I last did a video on it way back when it came out. iOS 14, what so seven, seven, whatever. So this one's pretty good. I use this every day. Um, so for tomorrow, so weekend, so Saturday, I've not got anything set for Saturdays. Sundays I do, because my, uh, my son has Kung Fu, Kung Fu Panda at quarter past nine, so I'm not gonna make sure he's up by eight o'clock so he can have his breakfast and stuff and get ready for that. Um, and then it tells you how much sleep you had the night before, which is really good, so it tells you when you went to bed and when you woke up, so this is the time, which I think actually that's wrong because I didn't go to bed at 21, 11. But consistent, consistent, so seven hours, 44 minutes, seven hours, 35 minutes between these times. So I'm getting a lot of sleep because we are on lockdown, which is good. Um, but on the phone, obviously, you get a lot more. So what I do is I put a little, little clips here and there to show you that. Um, so you can't really do much on your watch with this, apart from going there, or you could put full schedule, I suppose. So your sleep schedule is on, so weekdays, so 45 minutes before that time, 21, whatever, um, it will go off, it will bleep on my watch or my phone and say, hey, jackass, um, it's going to bed soon, you need to go to bed soon if you want to, you know, do this properly. Um, help us monitor it properly. So then that's the week 
day alarm at seven o'clock to make sure that I send my, take my other son to preschool. So he goes to preschool, Mason. My oldest son doesn't go to school because it's homeschooling. I didn't like school. Anyway, Sunday, 8.30, sorry, I set my alarm for. You get up and then you can set other schedules as well, which is pretty good. So some days are unchanged on days without a schedule. Your wake up alarm will not go off and other sleep features will not turn on. So you can change your sleep goal to whatever you want. And then you've got your wind down goal. So you can do this before it goes into sleep mode. So when it goes into sleep mode, your phone goes into silence. The screen goes black, you know, the um, standby screen, if you like, um, or lock screen. And when you put it on charge, then it'll say good night. If your phone is on charge, which it shouldn't be, um, really if you're doing this properly because that monitors you better than your your phone you can put your phone at the side of the bed but that's not accurate is it um so you can put that there 45 minutes before or or less um so then it can, over, can, can begin before bedtime reducing reduced retracts distractions things like that so what you can do is you can go into the phone and set up um like you could set it up to play music. So you could have your earphones on maybe, or you're reading a book and you want it to play background music in your bed. So you wind down, you put your phone on, the, on your slice charger, your, your, your charger there, just slowly charging it up perhaps, say for instance. And you're slowly charging and while you're charging, you could be playing background music. And what that basically does is just to relax you, you know, calm music or so, obviously you don't want to be playing, you know, the prodigy or something like that i'm a fire starter something crazy um you just basically want to have nice cool music just to relax you that can then do that so that could do that perhaps that 45 minutes relax you cool you down maybe have some incense sticks or something i don't know and then lay down and fall asleep or just a glass of wine like everyone else does in the uk and uh, binge on netflix or sky so there you go. So that's my other app that I use frequently in every single day. The final app that I use every day, the fifth one, is obviously the stock music app. Now, you might say, but there's so many apps out there that you can use for these things. Why are you using the stock apps? Well, because they're good and they seem to be getting better and better. They're adding more and more features to them to make them really good. So you've got your, obviously my dance workout. I don't do dance workouts bit of drum and bass so this is this is sort of more music that i use for when i'm working out a recently playlist and then other bits so here you've got your search um not necessarily having to search what's on the watch but you know on the phone or actually in the library which then you could download uh listen now and what's on your iphone um, so you can as you know download music onto your watch you get a certain amount of gig on there um, but they're quite small files, so you could put loads and loads on there if you wanted to. Absolute loads on there, um, which is good. But that's what I use. Um, with the Nike uh, what app, app as well, you can have a, a playlist. So when you're jogging around, that will then play that playlist automatically. Or you can set it up in shortcuts on the phone. So when you do certain things, like get in your car, you can play music because um, it knows that Bluetooth, it knows what it's named under, so then it will play, play the music, um, which is really good, I think. And, uh, and so, yeah, so Shortcuts is very good with Siri in the car. Um, but the problem I had with that when I last did it, it kept playing the same music all the time. It would start with the first one and play it in that same order. It wouldn't shuffle or anything like that. Then I had it with podcasts, so I set it up so it would play podcasts as soon as I got in the car. And then it was the same podcast being repeated constantly, so I don't know how to get around that. Um, so I gave up in the end, and plus I don't drive my car much anymore because of lockdown. So, but yeah, so this is this is a good app, um, and it's, you know, you pay $9.99 a month, so a bit like Spotify and some of the others out there. But you've got a massive library, a huge library. Um, which is just forever growing. Every day they update it with new new stuff, which is really good. Um, 
and then that's it so it's it is it is brilliant um but yeah so that's it guys that's my five favorite apple watch apps on the app series apple watch series 4 nike edition 44 mil uh, my next video i'll be doing will be comparing apple watches so stay tuned for that and i'll see you all soon thanks for watching bye bye